In this video, I'll show you an alternative to the drag and drop feedback. Okay, I got a message from Kenneth Peel. Kenneth uh, thanked me for all his videos and he has uh, a need for some of my help with uh, drag and drop hint. And he actually recorded it in a video. So let's take a look at that video now. Hey Paul. Thanks so very much for all your um, Captivate videos. I appreciate them. I do have a question though. I'm trying to do something simple, uh, very, very simple. As you see inside this drag and drop, what I'd like to do is allow uh, the user to submit. If they have everything correct, I don't want this, this, this uh, graphic here, uh, which is image 90, to show, but if they get them wrong, which, you know, if you get one of them wrong, it's going to say that you're wrong. I want this graphic to show. And I've been trying to do this for quite some time. So, uh, I, you know, I'm not sure uh, what I'm doing wrong, but I'll give you a taste of what's supposed to happen. So I'm just dragging them anywhere. And uh, as you see, first off, this graphic is here. I want this graphic gone. And then when they hit submit and it turns out to be wrong, I want this to be the hint. And I can't get that hint to work that way. So, uh, but as you can see over here, I say on success, hide image 90. And then on failure, show image 90. But uh, I'm not sure if, you know, if I've got to write a script for it, okay, great. But I figured this would be the easiest way to do this. Can you help me out? I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Well, Kenneth, I think I can. I've come up with a solution. I don't know if it's exactly what you had in mind, but I'll take you through it. I've done my best to recreate the drag and drop interaction that you you had in your video. Um, you know, I did the uh, the draggable objects up here. Uh, your, yours are nicer, of course. I just did this quick and dirty. And uh, there's my drop target. So all of the serif fonts are going to go here all the sans serif fonts will go here and what i did is i actually created rather than just show your graphic um i did this a little bit differently i, I looked at it from the perspective of um you know having a feedback for creating your own feedback for both correct and incorrect so uh, what i did first of all the thing i noticed from your video was that your image itself wasn't, uh, first of all, hidden from playback or hidden from display. So I've done it a little differently. I've created a grouped object, which includes the, the graphic that you use that explains the difference between serif and sans serif fonts. And I put a little, uh, actually a, a smart shape behind it uh, to act as a caption and just simply say incorrect. Take a look at the graphic below and see if it can help you. And then I added a next button that's going to progress them to the next slide. You know, if you wanted to give them multiple tries, you could actually just simply duplicate this interaction, the number of tries that you wish, and then maybe slightly change the feedback. I also did a, a similar uh, grouped caption for the uh, correct. So I just said, you got it. Click the next button to continue with the rest of your course. And then the next button, simply go to next slide. Same thing down here, go to next slide. And that's grouped into a group called correct feedback. I've made it not visible in output. And then the same thing for the incorrect feedback. It's just called incorrect feedback, also not visible in output. And then what I did, let's center that on the page. And the same thing with the other caption as well they won't appear in output until something happens something will make them visible and that is going to be the on success or on failure action of this particular drag and drop now there might be a way to to make it uh, uh, to give you the infinite attempts but remember that on failure is only after a final submit so if you're going to have infinite attempts you can try uh, failure means that this interaction is done and not successful. Uh, so if you do infinite attempts, you're not going to see 
uh, that feedback. So what I've done is I've just done one attempt and very simply on success, we're gonna show the correct message, give them a next button to jump right to the next slide. And uh, same thing for failure, but slightly different. We're gonna show the incorrect feedback. Um, I've unchecked continue playing the project because I just wanted to wait there while the user either clicks next or uh, uses their, their play bar, whatever. I've gotten rid of the regular failure and success captions because the way I see it is what you're doing here with these, uh, these displays replace that, but that's entirely up to you. You can still have a separate uh, failure and success caption if you wish. And I've added a reset button. If they've messed up, you could also do an undo. The uh, added some effects with the, um, the, the drop targets. I've decided to shrink these by 60% and tile them, and uh, which creates kind of a neat effect. And I've also added the zoom in effect on the draggable objects. And I've checked off redrag the drop source. Just so again, you know, if users are, are having trouble with this, they can take something they've already dragged and put it to a different box if they wish. So let's just do a preview of this and see how it looks here. I'll just do in browser. So here we go. You can see that the, the captions are not displaying. Let's get it wrong first and see what that's like. I know that those are incorrect answers there. You see how the shrinking gets it to tile nicely within this box, you know, and I could spend more time uh, making it fit better and so on. But, you know, I think you get the idea. So I'm going to hit submit, see what happens. Incorrect. Take a look at the graphic below and see if it can help you. So at this point, you know, the user could click next and it would continue with the rest of the course. Uh, let's try it now with... Um, getting the answer correct. Pretty much the result is the same. It's just a different caption. So let's see if I can do this. So let's do all my serif fonts first. I think that's correct. And these are the sans serif fonts there. And we'll hit submit. You got it. Click the next button to continue with the rest of your course. So hopefully, Kenneth, that helps you out or at least points you in the right direction. Guys, if you like the videos that I'm doing for you, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And if you thought this video was helpful or useful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up.